Hello, all my beautiful, 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 beautiful people. This is Val. Well, this is how you do it. Honey, I got to throw this 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 dress in the dryer and knock the wrinkles out of it. Hey, Val, you ain't going to get the iron out. No, honey. I just throw this on. This is a house dress. And it's one of those ones you got to really keep hung up real nice so it's going to wrinkle up. But anyway, I got it on this morning. And, I, and I'm flouncing around the house right now. Well, that's what I'm doing right now. You know, lots of room. Honey, I put my waist beads back on. I was going to show you my stomach, but since I got the dress up, yeah, I'm going to show it to you. But, you know, I had them on all day. Because they broke the first time, I was conscious on keeping them on my navel line. And um, when they move, I feel the move when they went up. You know, up here, that means you're too fat. I told then you, I can feel the move when they uh go down. They say that's supposed to mean you're losing weight, but mine's is kind of loose anyway. So when they get so loose, they just drop off. Then your girl, real skinny, skinny, skinny. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, anyway, I got them on. What I did was I double them up again and just stepped into them, and they round my waist. Uh, some of the beads are stretched so much, all you see is wire, but it's not really wire, it's plastic or whatever it is, where the beads are strung on. But I figure like this, if I start to lose weight, then the beads will come together. And, uh, and then if they get too loose, then I cut them and, and tie them up, tie them like they're supposed to be done. Oh, I already done washed my face with some Dove soap. Do that in the bathroom. And I'm going to get some of this uh, and uh, clean my face off with a little bit more. Which, hey, so that's what that is, y'all. For y'all people that are reading impaired like your girl is in some situations. When I'm sitting down by myself, I can read all kind of big words and whatever. But if I'm trying to do it out loud, honey, I mess it up with the quickness. I guess I get nervous or something. And then I start transforming stuff and saying the wrong. One person asked me on my other channel. I think people be trying to be small with your girl now. I don't know now. That may just be your girl. I think folks just trying to be small. They say, is that Roman noodles or ramen noodles? I'm like, it's just the way I pronounce it. I say Roman. Roman noodles. It's just an easy way of saying it. You know how we do. You know how we do in the South. Make me want to... Yeah, you know how we do. Okay. I say it's Roman, but it's just the way I pronounce it. Roman. I say Roman noodles. What's wrong with that? Everybody I know say Roman noodles. Well, that's the way we say it down here. But somebody up there, I might say in the north, talking about y'all, I want to ask your girl, it's, I am confused. Is it Roman noodles or ramen noodles? Which one is it? you think it is you heard all them cuss words then didn't you <laughs> yeah you think it is if you know where some goddamn <laughs> roman noodles is go get your son <laughs> and you know where some ramen noodles is go get your son got to show the bag when i eat it y'all I did a challenge over there on my other channel, y'all. I did a sardine and ramen noodle challenge. It was good. Because your girl can cook. I don't care what nobody say. That was some good stuff. You feel me? <laughs> If you see the video, you may want some yourself. Honey, I laid my foot in that, baby. I used those uh, sardines that was in the tomato base. And that only helped the noodles. Because, you know, noodles come in a tomato base anyway. And it's just like having seafood with uh, spaghetti. And it's uh, 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 feasted it. Uh, what is it? Feasted it on? Feasted it on? Feasted it on? Well, it's, a, it's an Italian dish. 
a seafood Italian dish with um you know with um spaghetti. And Roman noodles ain't nothing but ramen noodles ain't nothing but spaghetti. And you put put your seafood in it and you got your tomato base, it's the same thing. But now people want to get all fancy. Like, you know, you got to use the um the squid, you gotta use the um uh, calamari that was your squid, and you gotta use the um you got to use the shrimp. You got to use the the, the, the the little crab meat. You got to use all of that special stuff to make your seafood spaghetti. You get what I'm saying? You don't call it seafood spaghetti. You can't foost it on. It's Italian, so you whatever. Well, anyway, because one of y'all going to try to straighten me up. Anyway, I did that. But I used the sardines in the tomato base, honey. It was still good. You feel me? It was still good. What you do is cook your ramen noodles in the microwave for about a couple of minutes. You know how you do. You, do, you know how you do yours. Some people put their sauce on it when it's cooking. Some people put their sauce on it after it's cooking. Then you take that them 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 doggone sardines and it, they're sitting in that tomato base right there. You open them up because they big. You know you gotta pull that that uh you gotta pull that uh that vein out of there. With that, um, with them bones, you pull them out, throw them over there. Then you open the other one up and you pull that out, throw them over there. And then you take that meat and that sauce and you pour it in there with your ramen noodles, honey. And you got yourself some. You got yourself some. You know we stuck in the house in some places, you feel me? So if you don't already stocked up at the Dollar Tree when I told y'all to stock up on them sardines, remember when I told y'all to do that? Do you remember when I told y'all to go in there and buy you $20, $30 worth of sardines? And get you a case, not them little bags that come five in a bag, six in a bag, in that box that come 12 in the bag, they sell the case on the high shelf in Walmart. You get the case that got 21 in it or 22 in it, and you, you buy them. You got yourself some. Times like what they trying to lock you up in the house. And, and you got some ramen noodles and you got you some sardines, right? You ain't got to worry about them crackers going bad. Them ramen noodles will probably be there long enough to throw them like that and they, they bust a break. And then hard times come hard times. If you have to and ain't got no boiling water, honey, they soak them in some water. They'll, they'll work. I'm just talking that. But I'm just saying, you can go outside and rub two stick together and make a fire and, and, and boil you some water and make your own noodles. I'm just saying. Y'all better learn some. All you sedated people. And then when something happens, you run in a panic and want to bust in somebody else's place and get you something to eat. Cause you ain't learned how to survive cause you've been babied all your life. And then that's still good eating. What you say? Feeding that face. I may put my lashes on today, honey. Can't go outside, but you can look pretty in the house. I need to get this dress together so I can flounce around the house and smell good and look pretty good. I got to get that dress together, honey. I just throwed it on because I wanted to flounce a little bit. But you know I can't wear this rag with this dress. Of course not. Mm -mm. I was thinking about, even though I'm sitting around the house, flouncing one of them wigs I got. Let it lay all over my shoulders. I was thinking about it. I'm feeling pretty today, y'all. Feeling pretty today. <laughs> feel pretty. That's all you can do in some type of cases, honey. You better feel pretty, folks. Because ain't, ain't nobody else going to think you're pretty. So you better feel pretty. Girl, my face looking better already. Just, ooh. I feel pretty already. I'm going to do some. Oh. Dog, I didn't even bring him in here. I got me some appetite suppressants too, child. You know I can't keep walking around here with that stomach looking like that. Y'all know. Y'all know. I can't. I, I, I can't. Oh, girl. Don't you look nice? <laughs> Y'all know I can't be going, I'm going out like that. I looked at my... Just sitting around here in the dog getting fat, honey. Guess...
Hey, Val, you gonna leave all that oil on your face, honey? That's shea butter. Shea delight the way way, way Tanya whip it up. Hmm. You want you some real stuff? Y'all go over there and check Tanya out. Get you some of that shade of light, honey. Look how I do your girl face. Make her look brand damn new. You know what I mean? How brand spanking new? How about that? Look at that brand spanking new. Look, let me do that again. Y'all, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Just, well, you can't hug nobody no more. I was just going to say, just hug somebody and they touch your face. Can't hug folks no more. You can't let folks get that close to you and, and, and lay up on them 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 and hug them no more. You can't do that no more, y'all. Folks got stuff. <laughs> I was at Walmart. And another thing. Since I got mine and I ain't got to worry about y'all buying it up like y'all bought up all the tissue. I got mine now. If you got a grill that take gas, get you a couple of um, tanks. You may have one that you got on one arm that you just do one tank all the time. Get you a couple of tanks and then you know you got you some gas. You can cook on the grill. And you can also uh, boil water on the grill. You can cook on the grill. You can cook peas and greens and, and stuff in them in a saucepan on the grill. That's if things got so bad they cut your lights, gas, and water off. You feel me? And then again, you got charcoal. And if you live in the country, you got them doggone trees all the way around you. You put it in the grill and burn it. You know how they say we having hickory smoke this and hickory smoke that. And we doing it like this. We put a little. They going in them woods, get some trees, chopping them down, honey. That's still learning to survive. And some of y'all think it's a delicacy. Because you're getting the smoke flavor in your, uh, the wood flavor in your meat. That's just folks ain't got enough money to buy charcoal and gas. And then they you cut them trees and then burn up some wood. But y'all fancy though. Y'all fancy. So y'all y'all getting that hickory smoke. I'm just saying. Fancy folks. When we do it, it's poor. Poor folks. When y'all do it, it's fancy folks. Like I said with them sardines and them noodles. That's poor. That's 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 that prison food. But when the Italians do it, oh pistol resistance. Delicacy. Oh, let them folks do it in a restaurant. They put them, lay them sardines, and says lay them on a the bed on top of some, some some noodles and just have one on there, just a little bit, and they call it salmon. You'll be better. You'll be trying to slap the person next to you trying to eat it. But let me do it. I ain't poor, honey. I'm rich in, in, in a lot of ways. I'm just using that as an example. Don't get it twisted. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't million dollar rich, but I'm rich enough. Thank you, Jesus. I got that with count, honey. The love of the Father. How about you? <laughs> okay. What else we doing to this pretty, 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 pretty? Maybe that's all I came on here to tell y'all. Tell you the truth. I ain't got nothing else to say to you. I done said enough. Because I done took that thing on my head now. I feel kind of different. Mm. I said I was going to put that wig on then. I see that's gonna put them lashes on too. <sighs> Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you for the goodness, mercy, and kindness. Thank you, son. Thank you. What you say? I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Man, don't you get the humming and singing up in here? Don't you get the humming and singing up in here? Where you think you at? You on YouTube? Okay. Don't forget. It's so pretty, 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 pretty. What you saying? 
Got my nails on today, y'all. Got my nails on today. Get a flossing and styling and profiling this morning. Where Big Red at? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Where he went? Child, Big Red took in the wind. <laughs> he in the wind. I ain't seen Big Red in so long until I looked in the mirror just now. What you say? <laughs> Especially with no eyelashes on. Child, this is so getting ratchet right here. I can't even get the thing to come out the hole. Y'all can call him if you want to. He listening. He said, yeah. What you say? Then you tell him what you said. And let's see how this works. Chad, they got people closed in the houses in, pl in certain places. I did get to go out yesterday. And they still selling propane, y'all. It ain't everybody ain't bought that up. For your little gas grills. And you know y'all seen the Grand Villa. We got a full kitchen up there, honey. And you can dig a hole in the ground and put you some blocks around it and pull a rack if it ain't about a screen why and, and 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 make your grill a pit i'm just saying forget some of y'all that don't know throw you some wood and set it a fire or build your pit on top of the ground put the blocks blocks on the ground and and and, and put it in a circle and it's a pit like that. And put the the bottom blocks, put a Y between the bottom blocks and the uh and the other blocks that you stack, you got yourself a grill. And you can use refrigerator. The the rack out your refrigerator, the rack out your oven, and that'll be your, your rack to put your meat on. I'm just saying. Better know how to do some stuff. You got your grill outside, and then if when these times over with, and you and you make it look real fancy, go get you some of them blocks from Lowe's and Home Depot, and do that thing right, and then you'd have been and built your own outdoor outdoor barbecue pit grill. You can do it on top of the on top of the ground. Just stack things around. Put that put that um grate wire or whatever you're gonna put on there to cook on. And then stock some more blocks on top of it, and that's a done deal. You ain't even got to, you ain't got to use concrete, but if you want to go and be fancy with it, go and concrete it up. That's your business. I'm just saying, you gotta learn how to think for yourself. Sometimes don't let these folks keep you running back and forth to the gate to to Alabama Power. That's that's the light company here, and Alagasco. That's the gas company here. And even though you have all those fanneries, you can still sit outside in your lawn chair around that pit grill you done made with your family barbecuing outside when there's not a crisis. Y'all don't know some. I built one. Some of y'all that been on him with, with me for a while, y'all already know that. How to survive during a crisis. That's what I'm going to call this video. Instead of a makeup and hair video. Y'all know I talk when I do stuff. And since I talk when I do stuff. Because I was watching one video. I was talking up a storm. And I looked at the name of that video. Um, and it said. Uh, Coffee with me. It didn't tell nobody what I was talking about. And that looked like I was doing it like this. And I was talking. I was into it. I, I didn't have the, the speaker on. I was just letting my videos play. Just letting them run. Because. My channels have dropped down to under $100, so I just put my 
my playlist on where it says uploaded videos playlist i just mash that and just let the videos run until i want to use my computer because i'm trying to uh build my money back up even on this channel has been under a hundred dollars i haven't made a hundred dollars on this channel in almost three months but you know i got over two thousand videos on here i thought maybe that would hold some of y'all but evidently it didn't it uh y'all just stopped watching because i hadn't made a video in a while or you just haven't been letting the commercials play. I don't know what the deal is. But I haven't been getting $100 on this channel or the other channel. I've been making something around about $50, $60, something like that on both channels. And then both of those channels come together and put that money together. I still have gotten a check, but I got like $140, uh, $130, something like that. Uh, um, this time, this month, I got $140. But it was with both channels put together. So both channels didn't even make $100 a piece. I can't take a break just to keep the $100 going. You know, and then I watch some people. I say, Valor, I don't know. You just ain't good. Ain't good. Because I watch some people channel, honey. They be good. They be on here for one year. And they have a million subscribers already. And I just, I'm just like, Lord Jesus, what is it I'm doing? God, God we need some money over here too. I don't know, y'all. Y'all pray for you, girl. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I just don't know. And sometimes I get in that mood sometimes where I get um, kind of frustrated. But the people be good now. Don't get me wrong. The people that come in and they bust up like that, they are really, really good at what they do. But I was hoping I was good at what I do, that I don't have to start doing what other people do or copying other people. Just to be noticed by YouTube and y'all too. Oh yeah, I was telling y'all that I had the volume down because even though I had the playlist going, I I don't be listening to it. I just I just I turn the volume down. I mean, you know, not down but off. You know, click that button and turn the volume down. And then uh, move around the house. Even if I leave the house, I had a volume down and, and my videos be playing so I can get paid. Ain't nobody else watching them. I might as well watch them myself. I'm messing with y'all now. Say, yeah, I'm watching you. I'm watching you. Well, if you watching me, how about liking that video? This video. And then hit that share button so somebody else can watch it. That may help your girl, too. If you share it once in a while. Just every once in a while. Not every time. Every time you like something, then you laugh so much, I crack you up. And you say, girl, you crack me up. Girl, you had me laughing so loud. Uh, I, I, I heard myself laughing. Well, share that video. Girl, you sure enough telling the truth. Share that video. You know when I'm doing all that. And when you share it, say, y'all don't worry about the title. Y'all need to hear this. You say that. When you share it. You need to listen to this. And then share it on your Facebook, your Twitter, your, 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 your giggle, your, your wherever you at. And then uh, the people watch it. And then YouTube ain't just watching my... Uh, IP address saying that ain't nobody but Vale watching her own videos. I ain't getting her jack. Cause I don't even know if it work if I do it, honey. I ain't seen no progress in it since I've been doing it. I've been doing it for almost two weeks straight. Trying to build it up. But people talking on my videos. I'm I am answering comments every day. So people are talking to me on some on, on different videos. Now you might not see a whole bunch of comment on the one video, but somebody done watched another video or or they didn't a, a video that came up in their feed and they talking about something I did so long ago I got to look at the video just to see what the hell they talking about. Cause they didn't ask me a question or they didn't comment it on it. <laughs> so I gotta say, what they talking about? 
Oh, okay. I know. I know. Okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me say something back to them since they said something to me. Some bed and then put some on. Oh, fam, that looks so good on you, girl. It ain't even red. Make your lips look so soft and supple and neutral. Oh, what? <laughs> Jack. I don't think this lash is gonna do good right? cause that 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 glue has started to get solid. And I just don't know what this is gonna do right. It probably get a little damp and come off, but oh well, it's there for now. Gotta do something with that head, y'all. a little tired y'all but that's what you're tired of that's why you need to get your butt up get your behind on that dog on treadmill and get to walking what you tired of you just been sitting right here you know i'm with you what you get it for what you buy for if you want to use it you you right you right let me get my butt up from here and get to walking honey i used to put on makeup before i went to the gym long years ago But, you know, I didn't need a lot. I didn't need on really a foundation or nothing like that. Like some lip shits. <laughs> Lipstick. And, uh, stuff that wouldn't move unless I put my hands on it. And you sweat running all down your lips and licking the sweat. Well, that, that's you. That, that's you not working out pretty. <laughs> and I don't, I don't use a towel and just rub my face. You know how some people, when they work out, I don't do all that. At least I didn't do all that. It took me a minute to sweat anyway. Well, not really. I was, I, I used to, I work out so much I was dripping wet. But then after I got through working out, I would go swim. Then I go in the hot box. I swim for about 30 minutes to an hour. Then I go in the uh, sauna and sit and sweat some more. Relaxing. Or did I swim afterwards? After I came out of the sauna. I forgot which one it was. I probably swam before because you sweat in that box. Then I went to the showers. And got dressed and got pretty fired and left the gym. I kind of do stuff in the stream. When I used to do that, I used to go to the gym every day for four hours. And then I would walk that morning in the park. And then I would go back after five and walk in the park for about an hour each time. In that hour, I probably went four times around the track. Four to five times around there. Because I'd be, I'd be walking that trot walk. That's how I screamed I was. And I was so thin. Who wouldn't be four hours a day in the gym? The A day. Didn't skip a day. Uh, one day I worked on uh, my, uh, my upper body. And then the next day I worked on my lower body. I don't forget how to do it. I either worked, I worked with weights one time uh, every other day, I think it was. No, it was the weights. It was what I worked on on my weights. I just, I just switched it up. Because I did not, I didn't want to get bulky. 
I just wanted my my to have cuts. You know how you had the cuts in your arms and the cuts in your legs when you walk, but I didn't want to get muscular. So, and I walked and got on, and, and 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 got on that bike and, and did that stuff on that bike, did all that. So I thought if I had got some machines and put in the house, I would do it. But it don't work too well when you got your stuff in your house. Something about going that make you do it. So I was thinking, when I talk to y'all when I work out, and y'all hold me accountable to working out, I work out more. Now I got this machine, and I got the other machine, which is the guy, whatever that is, the one that do like that. And then I got the the uh, pads that you lay down. I got the jump rope. I got all. I got the weights that you pick up. If I put take that room in the back room, since I gave that bed to Vincent when he moved out, and just make that whole room an exercise room, I be saving those rooms because like, the kids may come home. Uh, the kids will come home during the holidays and need somewhere to sleep. Do you think they do that for me? When I come visit them, they ain't got no room set up just in case I come visit. So, I'm saying, maybe I should turn that into a whole exercise room. And just take this out of here and just let this be my workspace for doing videos. And actually go in there at a certain time every day. Because when I'm dedicated, I do it at a certain time. And every time, oh yeah, on that same thing, when, uh, when I was doing all the exercises, time my feet hit the floor, I would do crunches. I would do up crunches for upper upper stomach, crunches for lower stomach, crunches for the side, crunches for the side, upper and lower. And I would get up and then I would do I would get ready to go to the gym. Then at night I would do crunches for my upper, my lower, my upper and lower on the side, upper and lower on the side before I go to bed. I was just that dedicated. Plus, I was taking an appetite suppressant. A water pill, a laxative, and a vitamin for energy. The laxative was just one pill a day. The uh, water pill was one pill a day. The appetite suppressants, which some of some of them tell you take three a day or two a day or whatever, I would take one a day. And um, the vitamin would be one a day. I would take all of those one a day. Because I was working out so much, the working out kept me small, and the appetite suppressant kept me from eating so much, and then the water pill kept my water weight down, and um, uh, the lax that kept my stomach upper and lower intestines clean, and um, the vitamin gave me energy. So that's that was a remedy that I made up myself, and I would take that every day. Um. And I was, I was pulled. I, my pockets was touching. I was so skinny. Because I worked out. I worked out. It was just like a drug. I, and, and I craved it. So I, I had to work out until I get that that feeling that I was looking for. That sweat that I was looking for. That, that, that endorphin kick in. So that's why I, I do stuff in the extreme, y'all. I have to watch that. But I got me some, I got me some appetite some presents coming in. Cause I, I'm not gonna get rid of this weight. I, I, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like it. Y'all can say what you wanna. Yeah, you fine, girl. You know, and you getting up in the age. You supposed to be sit you down there. This and that. You you know you supposed to get a little middle age spread. Middle age. I'm past middle. <laughs> for as for as age is concerned, I'm I'm past the middle. I done seen them older women like me. That that's 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 not as big as me. I have a. Oh no, child. But see, I do stuff in the screen. I have to watch that. We, I overdo it. And then when I find myself overdoing it, I just I end up stopping. Because I know I can overdo it. I was telling one of my subscribers about that yesterday. And she was like, yeah, all or nothing. That's the, that's the kind of person I am. And I guess I am all or nothing. But I'm going to be all right now. I wanted to show you them beads around my waist, but I can't show you my drawers. <laughs> It'll be a different kind of video then.
gonna work out. I just need to put my hair up. What time is it? I don't even know what time it is, child. I just need to put it up. See, when I put my hair up higher, it pulls my face like this. So that's why I was saying. That's why I was doing like that. Make me look younger. Pull everything up. They are how young you want to look. Y'all already look young. How young you want to look. Can't satisfy some folks. I wish I looked good as you. Yeah, I'm going to get up from here and work out. See, by this time, I've been already did my sit-ups. Getting dressed to go to the gym. I guess it when I left the gym that I go walking. No, I went walking before I went to the gym. I don't remember. It's extreme. Something about moving in with Will and stop me from exercise. I didn't want him to know I had to work that hard to stay that little. I don't want him to think that it came naturally. And then I didn't work out around him, and I stopped working out, and then I ended up gaining weight. And as small as I was, I put on three or four times maybe even five times the amount of weight than I, that I was skinny. And I think that's what happened to some people when they're small and they start gaining weight or they, when they exercise, not when they're small. It's not when you're small. It's when you exercise and you stop exercising. Look like you put on two and three times the weight you had on before you start exercising. And sometimes that's scary too. That scares me. I feel like if I start working out, which I do, start working out, then I stop, I be double the size I was before I even started working out. You feel me? If I'm a size 8 and I stop working out, then I'm in, then, then, it, soon later, it'll it be like not too long after that, I'm size 14. Now, I did that, then I'm size 14, then next thing you know, I'm size extra, extra large. Instead of a large or a medium. That's really my thing about working out because I don't know if I'll be able to keep it up. The older you get, I don't know if you'll be able to keep that that stamina up for us working out like that. And then if you start working out, then you double that weight that you had before you even started. That's what's been happening to me. What do you, how do you, how do you combat that? If somebody know what I'm talking about, y'all, y'all don't act like I'm on this, on this, on this trip by myself. Yeah, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. When you start working out, you're bigger than you was before you even started working out. Yeah, honey, I got some hair. The Lord is blessing me right now. <laughs> he is good. I was thinking about that song before we came on. I don't know if it was that particular song, but you know them songs that that you learn in in church. You wake up with a praise in your heart. That's fine. A song in your heart, that's sure enough, fam. And a song of the Lord, that's sure enough, got yourself, son. <laughs> Let me get off this thing. I'm going to put my hair up, because your girl going to go. I ain't got to go. I can just let that down and do it there. I was going to say, go exercise. I got to do something, y'all. 
I gotta get let them beads fall right off you, girl. Yeah, I got them on, honey. I got them on this cut. Get my butt down and start doing. You know what's been been really the deal with the uh the crunches? My side hurt when I do them. And if I put the waist trainer on, like the lady say, Val, you ain't waist training no more. The waist trainer digs, it hurts my side. On one one side, I mean this side, it's something underneath my ribs that hurt when I have those things on. So, maybe I have them on too long. Cause like I said, the girl is extreme with some of this stuff. I have slept in them, got up in them. I have warm like that. Oh, I need to stop being so extreme, Val. Just do it for a few hours and take it off. That's what training means, don't it? Yeah, probably right. Do it while you work out and then take it off. Stop being so extreme. You may, you may, you may make it. Val, if you had a went live, then I could talk to you. But no, you're going to come on here and try to talk to me. And I can't talk to you. Now, I can't tell you what to do. And put on some shorts and put this dress in the dryer so we can knock the wrinkles out of it. I'm gonna work out a little bit. A little bit. I ain't gonna overdo it, y'all. Probably do some sit ups, probably walk on that treadmill for five or ten minutes, which normally I would work for, for an hour. Then get on something else and work for an hour. Then get on something else and work. That's why it took me four hours on the workout. I timed how much time I would spend on each thing. I wanted to be an hour on the weight. I mean, an hour on on the cardio, which is walking and being on the bike. I wanted to be an hour on the weights. Then I want to be an hour in the sauna and an hour in the pool. That's the way I did that. And an hour on the track. At five o'clock. I'll go. I'll be four five. Well, it was five because I had to wait on the children to get home and make sure all the, all this stuff was straight. Then I uh went to the gym. Not gym, but the uh the uh walking. the park while he was at school I was at the gym I had my uh, in home business then I had some like home health business in my house at one room with two a two bed facility like Kept two ladies. You can keep two people without a license. That's when family members they want to take their own folks home with them. And they pay you about a month to keep them. And I charge them so much, and they check go with them. So they check came to, uh, to Valerie Granville and care of that particular person, and uh, their family had to make up the difference if they check one big enough. Like if they made around about five hundred dollars, I charge more than five hundred dollars a month, cause you know you can go on a job and make five hundred dollars a week or every two weeks depending on your job. And then that was round the clock here. 
they had special beds and chairs and stuff, but Medicare and Medicaid helped pay for some of that. And lifts to lift them up and down at the bed, you know. Those that needed it. Depends on how far, they, how long they stayed with me. Most time, they stayed with me till they passed. One, only one uh, family member picked up because she thought um, it was an aunt, cousin, nothing. You can't fight the family like that. So they uh, came and got the lady, took on a plane. She had a heart condition. She was doing good with me. I had got her walking and everything. And she said she didn't want to go with her. She told me she didn't want to go with her, but I couldn't do nothing about it. That was family. Um, and that lady put that lady on that plane, took her away from him. Not not this house, but where I, where I had, but I was waiting for I met Willie. And that woman passed two weeks after that. She died. She fell down some stairs. That's what the lady said. But she thought I was taking her money. I had her check and all that kind of stuff. Her check was paying for where she stayed at. She wasn't making that check. People always think that because a person get a check, when they get old, that's a lot of money. Then they find out it ain't a lot of money. Not for round the clock here. Bathing and wiping and, and cleaning folks and, and treating them like your own folks. And now sitting in the living room with them, watching TV with them because they live with me. You know, just being, being family, making them your family. That's why I say if you don't have the heart for that kind of work, don't do it. Don't do it. And if you feel like you don't have the patience anymore for that kind of work, get out of that line of work. I don't have the patience for that anymore. I don't. I don't. My temper, at least when I went, you know, when you went through menopause, you know, you fly off at everybody. So I don't know how my temper is now. But I don't think I'm, I'm, I want to do that anymore. Take care of elderly people for the rest of my life, you know. Oh, honey, it make it look like there's a space there, but that's that gray hair. Let me get off this thing. But I'm just saying, know when you got to do something different. Look at my hand. You see how youthful shea butter and oil make, make, you, make you look? How it puts a glow in your face. And look at the glow on my nails and on my hands. It just make you look cared for. Um, so... Put some moisture on your skin, y'all. Let me get off this thing. Bye, y'all. Mm, 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 mm.